What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. There's a brand new plant available in early access. It's called the Darted Choke. It's here right now. Uh, it costs kind of a lot, 225. It's part of the Spearmint family, but check it out. Darted Chokes fire high damage darts down the lane, prioritizing especially dangerous zombies such as wizards, octo zombies, and healers. So this is the first type of plant that specifically targets zombies by type. Uh, the special is that each shot has a chance to do critical damage. Its usage has a limited supply of darts, then must recharge, so that's interesting. And here are its priority targets. All-Star Zombie, Explorer Zombie, Fisherman Zombie, Octo Zombie, Pirate Captain Zombie, Prospector Zombie, Roman Healer Zombie, Treasure Yeti, and Wizard Zombie. Why waste shots on foot soldiers when you can win the battle with one well-chosen dart to the dome, Wonders Darted Choke. Why would you do it? Why would anyone do it? So I'm going to unlock it. I got the packets uh, from the store. And so there we go. Darted Choke is here, ready to rumble. And yeah, we're going to see what happens with... Ooh, that's a cool animation right there. Did you see it? Uh, I personally like eating Darted Chokes. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if a lot of people do, but I do. And uh, we're going to use... It's part of the Spearmint family. We're going to use them. We're going to take them across different eras. Uh, today is going to be fun. We're not going to do Penny's Pursuit. We're not going to do Arena. We're just going to go into the Adventure Mode. Take them across different eras. I don't know if he's going to have a quest available. Maybe we can practice with a quest. Uh, let's see that first really quick before we jump into it too much. And then at the end of this video, we're going to do our fifth pinata party in a row. Get some cool rewards. Um, let's see if darted chokes in here. We got ailment, blooming heart, exploder nut. We do not have any sort of darted choke epic quest. Maybe we will later. Uh, but things are, yeah, okay. Things are looking pretty good. We're going to go in just on our own in adventure mode and see what we can do. I know that there's going to be some particular stages that I'm going to love to test out. Uh, first, though, you know I like to do the Pirate Seas. It's a very specific stage. I'm wondering, I don't think cannons were listed on his list, but I do wonder, I do question if maybe he'll target something other than the Imps, but maybe not. Level 22 is a stage I, I like to take plants into and see how they do in mass quant uh, dealing with mass quantities of enemies, such as the Imps. And it's kind of a farming stage. If you've seen any of my other plant showcases, you know that this is what I do. So, uh, we're gonna bring in Darted Choke, and the rest literally don't matter. We're just gonna bring him in, we're not gonna use him. We're gonna, we're gonna set it up one per lane at least. Uh, looks like we can get two per lane. Uh, so let's see. There we go, and then the rest are gonna go maybe here and here. So let's rock, let's see what this level one Darted Choke does. Uh, not, it's a lot of Darted Chokes, but we're gonna see. Are they going to attack down the lane? Oh boy. Not super strong. Okay, well, we got him. We got him. So, but they got to recharge. Keep that in mind. So, okay. Okay. Are they pierced? I can't tell if they're piercing or not. Okay, okay. It took care of most of those cannons, uh, but we still got a lot left. So, they're running out of uh, darts to shoot out, and this might be the problem. See, they are targeting the cannons over the imps. So, the imps are moving towards them. Oh, man. The imps are going to eat them. Okay, <laughs> they're tired. Yeah, so this is this answers the question. They were they were nice and they were attacking the cannons, but at their expense because now the imps are eating them. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a very very interesting thing. So we basically have lost this stage. Let's go ahead and, and go out of here. That's really interesting. Okay. So we've learned that. That's something we've learned. I like to take these out through here so we can learn things. You know, like take them across various eras just to see what we can indeed learn. A couple difficult eras that I want to try out. Uh, do I want to try out Frostbite Caves? Do I want to try out Lost City? I don't think so. Um, I do want to try out Dark Ages. Uh, maybe maybe Far Future, I don't know, man. I do want to try out Dark Ages. Some of these harder eras here are going to be really interesting to find out. So Dark Ages, we're going to see. We already know the list of what it targets, but there, there are wizard zombies here that we can maybe take out quickly. Um, if I can just remember which stage we'd like to do here. I think it's 16. That is a pretty solid mix of a bunch of different things. But if it hits the Jester zombie, I'm thinking that it's going to probably probably spin it back at us. So let's be cautious, but let's just let's go. Here we go. Um, I might bring an Impair. Like kind of as a backup plan. Maybe. I don't know what to do, but we're going to see. We're going to bring the Magnet Shroom. We're going to need Sun Production. If we're going to bring in Sun Production, let's go ahead and bring in the Enlightenment. And, you know, I don't want to bring in... I mean, he's clearly a support 
plant where we need other plants to do the, the job as well so I'm gonna bring in electricity and the filament go ahead and bring in the um, gold bloom but I'm gonna try to focus on darnichokes we'll see we will see indeed so let's just put this down here put this out here this well I want to see the darnichoke attack people and who he attacks and it's it's only per lane so we it doesn't it's not like the homing thistle where you know it'll attack on different lanes so we really got to see he's he will attack you know if that's the only thing there he will attack that that's for sure but we kind of want to be a little careful right should have brought in some uh, plant food probably okay good job there See, now we have graves, and I don't know, we gotta worry about all sorts of stuff here, probably, with the graves. Alright, we gotta dart a choke everywhere. Let's start putting out the, uh, here. Boom! That's a good, so, let's see, is he gonna prioritize, is he gonna prioritize the guy in the back? Maybe so. But right now, we're not having any sort of issues. So he's attacking the wizard for sure, directly. Okay, but, man, the pea shooter is so strong. I feel so bad about it. It's, like, so easy. All right, yeah, I probably should probably have it, though, right? Here. My bad. Boom! It's such a strong thing. I mean, like, it's hard to tell how much... How much the darting choke is actually affecting it. Because the electric pea shooter is taking care of most of it, so... These guys are not having hardly any problems. And these darn What's the special? Let's see what the special is. Okay, so it shoots it out kind of like the homing thistle in a way where it just kind of shoots out multiple darts. So he might eat that mushroom. Nope, he's dead. So the, the gesture does send the darts back. This is fine. Here, check this out. Final wave. They're attacking what they need to. Uh, here, let me put this impair out, and boom! That's an easy way to deal with uh, with zombies, right? All right. So yeah, man, the darter choke. Um, you know, it's probably going to be better to test it out when they give us stages to try out. When they give us specifically crafted stages to try out. But, I mean, so far this is really interesting. Alright, so we got the Magnet Shroom. A uh, reminder. I, okay, my Walnut is leveled up. No need to remind me of that. Um. So, let me think really quick here. Neon mixtape tour. I mean, like all of these. Big Wave Beach is something I'm really looking forward to trying out because we definitely have problems with those fishermen zombies. And if we can have someone specifically dedicated to shooting them, then that'll be nice. Um, so let's go over. I think it's level. So many stages. I think it's level 28 that we like to do. If not, I can go back and check again, but. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Don't lose more than five plants. So, um, let's see what we're going to bring in. I'm going to bring in pretty much the same stuff. Except I don't want to bring anything that I'll lose. So, none of that. <laughs> okay. So, we might want to bring in uh, this. I might even want to bring in a force field. Hmm. And now the question is going to be like, well, what, what else do we do at this point? What else do we need to do? I don't know. It's annoying that we have to bring in, like, we can't just continue with, we have to actually bring in all sorts of plants. So, um, well, let's just, here, one, two, three. Even though if we don't use those, we're going to bring them in. I'm mainly focused on, I mean, the, the darted choke, of course.
All right, the main problem that we're gonna have is we're gonna have a lack of, of sun production, I think. It's such an effective, the electric piece shooter is so effective. All right, let's now, now that we have two out, let's start focusing on, uh... wow. Let's start focusing on darter chokes if we can. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's one. Got him. That was like one hit. But I think because uh, the, we, he was damaged due to the electricity, I think, is the main reason. Huge wave of zombies coming through. Oh god. Here we go. So hold on, we need to plant here. Let me let me get some sun production. Go. So there we go. That darter choke should attack that fisherman. Boom, right for him. That's nice. Man, he takes a lot of hits though. Got him. Got him. Nice. And the darter choke up top is also attacking a fisherman. So that's not too bad. And now we got darted chokes everywhere. But again, the uh, electric pea shooter is doing the bulk of the work, but the darted choke is a support class in a way, right? Oh boy, oh boy, what's happening? All right, are we attacking the fisherman zombie? Get him, Woo. oh wait, fisherman zombie is gone. That was just a cool way to see what the darted choke does with the special. Really, the electric pea shooters are the star of the show. The gargantuars here. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh my gosh! So hopefully we're attacking all the fishermen. All the fishermen are dead. So now we're just attacking this uh, gargantuar here. Boom! There we go. So yeah, we're seeing the darter choke from more of a support perspective, which means that it's not the start of the show. Darter choke, start of the show. Kind of rhymes. Um, but so, hmm, I'm trying to figure out, like, how else we can, like, really focus on him. And maybe we could focus on him in Matt, like, we could see, you know, we could do a stage and just see, like, how he handles everything. So we could bring it into, uh, like, maybe, uh, Neon Mixtape Tour, or Modern Day, we could bring him into the Modern Day and just try out, try out a stage with just, and only focus on darted chokes, like, do everything we can do to get darted chokes out here. And to see how darted chokes handle it. I don't know. Good idea. 30? Does 30 a stage that we can do? We might have to back up and do 29. Let's see really quick. Okay. Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. That's a fine stipulation. Lots of big things, though. This is going to be scary. But darted chokes can attack uh, the, the dudes. So how do we want to do this? Darted choke, sun production. Let's bring in some real sun production, then. If we want to focus on sun production, let's bring in some sun production. We can bring that in. I want to bring in that as well. I really don't want any of that. Um, and then uh, imitate that. Now this could be interesting. We'll see how it pans out. I'm a little worried about it. So yeah, here, boom, boom, boom. Like so, that's a lot already. Um, so we're only going to basically bring in darted chokes, basically, is what we're saying. Alright, there we go. Alright, good hit. Oh my gosh. There's another one. Hopefully we can... Uh, I hope it doesn't cross it. You would think that would just pop it really quick, right? Well... Okay, he didn't trample the flowers because he went over the flowers. Oh dear. He's gonna eat that, by the way. No, he's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Boom. Jeez Louise. Here. You know what? I can't just rely on the darted chokes right now. I need to have, uh, 
this out here. There we go. Oh, he went through. Oh, he's dead. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Can he fly over the shield? I don't even know the answer to that right now. Here, let's put more infinites. And these guys are brutal. This is hard. I don't think, uh, at level one, I don't think the darted chokes can really hold up. Like, against a whole horde of these guys. Holy cow. No. Look, they're gonna, they're gonna walk right through this. So no, darted chokes alone, I don't think that they're they're good. I mean, maybe when we get them level, leveled up some, then maybe they'll be good enough, but right now the answer is no. <laughs> We're gonna do the uh, arena next episode, and in, in a couple days we'll have a refresh on uh, Penny's Pursuit. So yeah, right now we're just kind of trying to think about ways to use the Dart of Choke, showcase him. Uh, I really wish they would add a, like a Roman time here. That would be so cool if they had a completely like Roman Roman Colosseum time just dealing with the Roman zombies. New plants coming in with that too. I don't know if they'll do that, but they should. They have the zombies for them. They're putting them in Penny's area, but... So, uh, man, I really don't know what to, what to do. Um, it doesn't seem like that that was a great way. And, and like, it's really hard to showcase the darted choke without them having, you know, without going through like a weekly quest thing, uh, travel log, because of the fact that all my other plants are so much stronger that they're clearly going to steal the thunder of any sort of darted choke that's out there. But, but darted chokes alone, and I mean, this is why I'm making the video to kind of show you guys, darted chokes alone are not enough to handle some of the more advanced things. You, They really are just a support-based plant. You can't just flood the field with Darted Choke because one, it takes forever to charge them up. They lose their charge, it takes, take, you got, they gotta rebuild their, their darts. Two, it takes a while for them to charge up after you play them, meaning the seed packet refreshing. And then and then three, I don't know if there's a three, but I like to make this. So three, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. Uh, but so, yeah, I'm trying to think about, I mean, they're obviously not going to attack the dinosaurs. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I've done enough to showcase what the Dartichoke is capable of. Maybe I can get some ideas if I go through here. Uh, the Dartichoke is just really, really interesting in the fact that it does target specific zombies. But having them out here on their own is just a no-go. The Octo Zombies, you know, we kind of had that on Big Wave Beach, right? Um, or no, we didn't. We didn't have them there, but they they will target Arto zombies, which is good. Uh, Explorer zombies, pirate captain zombies, prospector zombies, Roman healer, treasure yeti, wizard zombies. Yeah, we've seen yeah, all star zombies. I mean, those all stars are really fast. Now, if the darted choke gets leveled up some, then he's going to be much more formidable, and then we can kind of explore what that's going to be like afterwards. So, what what we're going to do today? Let's go. Then let's end the episode by doing the fifth pinata party in a row. And um, if we go check that out, let's go play the event. And uh, we're going to get some cool prizes at the end. So uh, there are chickens here. So watch out for that. Uh, thankfully, we have lightning. Just fast forward. That way we... Uh... There we go. Lightning should get the job done. For those chickens. Those chickens are, are not going to stand a chance... We have a full column of lightning here. The lightning reads very incredible. We're having fried chicken tonight. It's a thing of beauty. All right. Four thousand coins. All right. But that's all we're expecting, right? So, so anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more gameplay this week. We're gonna go into the arena, fight the boss. Uh, then we're gonna also uh, Penny's Pursuit is gonna reset. We're gonna do whatever's new in that. And uh, we're going to have a great time. So thanks for watching. 
Uh, as you can tell, uh, I've already 100% completed this week's Penny Pursuit. I can grind it a little bit more, uh, you know, get some more points. But right now, right now I'm at 21. I want to see if the perk library uh, increases. Uh, if it's I mean, if it stays 21 of 109 in a couple days, when uh, Rome Rome on the range resets or whatever, we'll see how that works. I, I'm still a little unclear about how that works. But this is a cool mode. Uh, check out my previous three videos if you want to see that, and come back next time for more Plants vs Zombies 2. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.